Okay, everyone, it is now Tuesday, December 10th, 2013. It's about 7 p.m., a little after 7 p.m., and I have a major update regarding the YouTube content ID madness that's been going on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my video here on DSP Gaming. The alert that YouTube has flipped the switch on stricter content ID policy. It's only been live for 22 hours, already has 25,000 views and growing. And please continue to spread the word, because again, as I said yesterday, this issue does not only affect people who are partners, it affects everyone across YouTube. Everyone's getting slammed with this, okay? So in this video, first of all, I'm going to tell you some of the developments since yesterday, some of the ludicrous things that have been happening that people have found out about this new content ID system, and then I have very useful information regarding your ability to check and see if a dispute that you made against one of these crazy content ID claims was cleared up, and how to get monetization back on those videos, because it doesn't automatically reapply, okay? So first of all, to show you the update from yesterday, I know this is going to be nuts and a lot of you are going to probably pass out. I now have three tabs worth of videos that have been claimed by third parties. Yes, this is correct. Yesterday, remember, I only had about 48 and maybe about 60. Today, I have about 300, no exaggeration, 300 videos that have been being claimed. And as I'll show you here, I have my little Outlook, uh, my Outlook email open. Fresh here. This is the email that is actually attached to my uh, YouTube channel. I've pretty much been consistently getting new claims every 10 minutes or so. So this is what's going on. That's how many videos have now been flagged for content I mean, on YouTube. Now, what I've noticed <clears throat> is various different things. For example, Dead Rising. The only reason these two are flagged is because it says of a song. I'll show you. See? A certain song or whatever was... Found it, and that's why it's been flagged. It's not flagged because the game publisher because of a song that was used in the game. However, the flip side of that, anything that's Nintendo related is getting flagged not only for music but also for audio visual content. So these kind of flags that we're getting now, that since you flipped this switch yesterday afternoon around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, are for different reasons. What I'm finding is that in general, the disputes that I've put out in the past day. Those that are just against general, like oh, audio visual content, general stuff, seems to be working way better than the ones that are for music. All right, so let me give you some perspective here. There was one of this one right here, actually. NBA 2K14 Co-op Gameplay Part One said it matched a third party because of a song, "The Ruler's Back" by UMG, that's Universal Music Group. I disputed it and they rejected it, saying the claim has been reinstated because, unfortunately, the, the soundtrack of the game, the 2K beats, were playing during the video and they identified the song. So, in this case, I, I disputed it yesterday. It was denied. Now, I do have a final chance to appeal, but here's the problem. If I appeal again and it's denied again, I now get a copyright strike against my channel. And for those of you who are on YouTube, you know, three strikes and you're out. So it's a huge risk for me to appeal this final time. In this case, being that it's one video, I don't really care. If it was every video, I might be pissed. For one video, or I'm going to let it go because I don't want to take that crazy risk, okay? So that's with music publishers. If you're identified that there's a song in there as a, from a music publisher, it seems like you may be denied. Another case where I was denied, which I want to show you, is over here on my second page of crazy content ID matches. Here we go. Way down here, simply all the things that have been identified. Fallout, Metro Last Light, Grand Theft Auto, Super Mario World, basically everything. Everything's getting flat. Okay. There's no. Oh, Naruto. Almost all of the parts of my Naruto playthrough from earlier this year getting flat. Um, but the one I want to show you is the one that I got another response from, which is not popping up right now. It must be on the final page here. Actually, I don't think it is. Wait a minute. When did I play Injustice? May. This is May right here. Why don't I see these? Inju oh, there they are. I passed by them. So these two Injustice videos are from my playthrough of the campaign of Injustice. Not multiplayer gameplay, but the single player campaign. And both of them call out cutscenes in the campaign saying that's what was copywritten by Warner Brothers. I disputed it. They came back and they said, Sorry, your dispute was rejected. Tough shit. I have a chance again to do a final appeal at this point. Being that this playthrough is old, not many people are watching it anymore. I'm not going to risk it. Okay. However... I have had a lot of situations where either my dispute has been accepted or the disputes have been lifted automatically. I didn't even have to action them, they were automatically uh, lifted. 
it. So what I want to show you here is how to figure that out. Here's what happens. Let's say you dispute a bunch of these. If it gets lifted, here's what happens. The video is removed from your copyright notices page. However, YouTube doesn't reinstate ads on it. That's right. You have to manually go back and state, reinstate the ads on it yourself. You might be saying, well, how the fuck do I know if and when this is happening? How do I know if this view is, uh, you know, granted and they take it away? Two ways. Number one, you will get an email about it. The problem is all of the, the headings of the emails all read exactly the same. So most of these are probably content ID claims, but some of these may be released videos, and I have no fucking clue because YouTube is fucking stupid. So the other way to figure it out, and I just figured it out now, which is why I wanted to make this video. This is exciting, all right? You go to your uploads. Now normally what happens in your uploads queue, which is right here in your video manager, you have your videos listed that are you know, in order of newest to oldest. What you need to do is go up here to this tab, newest, click on it, Go down to unclaimed or not claimed. When you click on that, what's going to happen is any video on your channel that's not claimed will not pop up. You can see that the monetization icon is gone. And why? It tells you why. Guess what? Let's go through these. Dead Rise and Super Mario are disputed them all. Here was one that was an error. Here's actually that NBA video I just showed you. And unfortunately, they reinstated their claim, UMG. Okay. Some of these I haven't even disputed yet, but watch this. I scroll down. Whoa, wait a minute. This one isn't monetized, and it's not playing. So this could be one of two things. Either I fucked up when I uploaded it and never monetized it, or they put a claim against it and it's been released. So when you see one like this, there's nothing against it, and it's not monetized, you're going to want to hit edit. You're going to want to go to the monetization tab right there, and you're going to want to click on usage policy, make sure everything here is checked like normal by default, and then save your changes. And that is now going to monetize that video. So again, if a video gets cleared up, you need to re-monetize. And let me show you. I'm going to see if there's any more I can show you. Because as of today, here's what's happened. Why right? any of the videos that I had that were claimed under Xbox One have been unclaimed. Including Forza and my Rise playthrough. So if you have a video of Rise, Forza, or any of those like launch titles... You may want to check to see if the claim's been released today, and if you had ads on it, you're going to want to re-monetize it, because right now it will not have those ads re-added. So as you can see, I'm going through. Right now, a lot of these have been matched. They're disputed. There's nothing here for me. Nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Still nothing. Just errors. That doesn't help. It's because I already did the free rise videos and the Forza, so I wish I had nothing to show you guys. Maybe we'll look out and find another one. If not, it is what it is. Here's a d duplicated upload error I forgot to delete. We're going far back here. Ah, here's one. Fallout 3, part 58. Not monetized. I don't know why. It could have been because something got flagged and I disputed it. I don't know. I'm going to re-monetize it. Edit. Monetization. Usage policy. Save changes. So now it's re-monetized, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's go back. Hell no, everything here's matched third-party content. Match, match, match. So you know, it doesn't really look like any others have been released. And again, as you can see, a lot of these I did not dispute. A lot of these are older playthroughs. And I'm like, do I really want to sit here for hours on end doing dispute, 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 dispute? You know what I mean? I have better things to do with my time than just disputing every freaking video. Aha! This one's been released. Azura's Wrath Playthrough Part 3. I remember disputing this one. As you can see, it's gone. The content ID match. So I can go back and hit edit. And re-add the monetization. This is a particular one that looks like it actually went through. I can't believe it. So what I'm guessing is this. I'm guessing that companies and publishers are now getting wind that this is happening. And they're going to YouTube and saying, no, release claims if it's in our name. Is that fucked up? Look, here we go. Dark Souls. Dark Souls 10 and 11. I also had copyright claims against those, and I disputed those. Looks like those have been cleared up. Let's go ahead and put ads, you know, put the ads back on those. Well, people enjoyed the Dark Souls play group. Other people hated it for different reasons. Well, I want to make sure, you know, everything is monetized that I can monetize here. Up because we are about to finish up doing this. I could just do this off camera, obviously, but I want.
wanted to show you the process of how to do it, all right? Once all that's done, well, now what I want to tell you about is what happened last night. I want to basically share with you guys, let you guys know that all these are videos got to show old are sent to private because I actually uploaded this to Blip TV and they have copyright music and stuff in them, too. This was GSP Gaming before it was ever partnered in these videos. Holy crap, that's how old these are. by these content ID claims, including the biggest gaming YouTubers. Even they are not immune, all right? Uh, I'm talking SSOH PKC, Tetra Ninja, Ghost Roba, Lord Vag. I had a conversation with all of them on Twitter last night, and we all talked about it, and we all said, yeah, we're all getting screwed right now. Some of these guys have collectively agreed they are not going to be uploading any new videos this week until this issue is hashed out. I myself am the kind of person that, you know, I don't like to sit on my ass, and uh, I want to keep playing games regardless. So I am going to keep doing gameplay footage this week, but I may have to mix it up. And what I mean by that is Super Mario 3D World may be off the table for this weekend, because as you can see, every freaking video in the playthrough is getting flagged, and uh, it makes more sense for me to hold off until maybe this thing gets cleared up, all right? Well, the good news for me is, as you guys know, I'm in the middle of my year-end series. I just started them last night. The best and worst of the last generation consoles countdown. I'm going to be working on that momentarily after I actually have dinner here. I'm going to be working more on that series. So the good news is I already have a series. This is not going to have any copyrighted music or anything in it. That should have zero problems. No cutscenes. No copyrighted music. I think this, this series will be fine. So I'm making content for you guys that will not be flagged this week. Plus, I'm also going to continue on with other playthroughs such as Fallout 3 and such, alright? However, I do want to let everyone know, alright, that it seems there's massive errors with this content ID system and we have concrete proof. Here's a perfect example. Last night, a, a fan of mine, Miss DBZ Bay, she is an artist who actually draws like fan art of Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that, alright? So she had a video in which it was her own original art. It wasn't copied or stenciled or traced from a, a Dragon Ball comic book, manga, or TV show. It was her original artwork of Goku. I think it was either Vegeta and Bulma or Goku and Bulma. And it got flagged as a content ID saying that it was a property of like whoever owns Dragon Ball. She's like, wait a minute, no. I can draw fucking fan art and put it in a video and monetize it. You're out of your mind. So... Even if you're just doing fan-related stuff, YouTube's automatically flagging it, even if it is your property. Now, yesterday, last night, I got copyright flagged from THQ against WWE 13 and WWE 2K14 videos. Guess what? THQ doesn't exist. They went out of business. So any of those are automatically illegitimate. They can't make a claim if they don't legally exist. So right there you can tell there's a problem with this system. How is it that YouTube is making claims against your own personal content? It's making claims against companies that don't even exist for supposedly claiming stuff. And then the kicker here. Last night there's a YouTuber named Black Nerd. And he actually from time to time makes videos that he's commissioned to do. He's actually commissioned to make videos by companies like Nintendo and stuff. His videos are getting flagged. And he's like... Nintendo outright gave me permission to do it. In fact, they paid me to make this video and they told me explicitly to, that I can monetize it on my channel and you're flagging it for content I need. What the fuck? So here's the problem. Some nerd, I'd say some nerd at Google, oh, I made the perfect algorithm and it's gonna solve all our problems and we don't have any copyright issues anymore. And they never tested it, of course, as usual with Google. We are the beta testers with Google. We are. We're the ones that have to fucking suffer, okay? So, uh, they, they flipped the switch yesterday. It's running through it now. All these things are being revealed as bugs. And uh, we're the sufferers. We're the ones that have to suffer. And by the way, it, this is not just about monetization. I have videos where the audio is blocked. Like Tales of Exilia Part 4. Uh, there's like three or four other ongoing playthroughs where there's just no audio on the video and there's no way to fix it. You're saying there's a song there that's someone else's property. Too bad. Uh, you know, you, you just, the audio's blocked. There's nothing you can do about it. So playthroughs are ruined now. And if people who don't monetize their videos, their videos are going to be ruined too because of these audio issues, all right? 
So I do want to say at least, at the very least, my partnered company, or my MCN per, per se, uh, Machinima is in the know about what's going on. They've been notified, and uh, Optic J on Twitter says that he's escalated it and, and internally, and they're going to see if they can work anything out. I believe Tetra Ninja said that he's trying to actually set up a, a personal meeting with Google execs to try to figure out what the fuck's going on. Uh, but as of right now, literally, here we go. I got three new ones. Look. Oh, good. Dishonored part one. By Loud Digital Network. Who the fuck is Loud Digital Network? I don't know, but I'm fucking appealing that shit right away. Because again, you're, you're, appeal, you're, you're putting co copyright shit on part one of a game, a game that I played over a year ago. And if anyone's going to watch the playthrough, that's where they're going to start. It's bullshit. So I'm going to appeal this right away. And I, like I said, some of the appeals have been successful, some haven't, and some have automatically cleared up. The problem is, every hour, I'm getting another 10 to 15 new ones. So right now, I'm up to almost 300. By tomorrow, it might double. We don't know. We don't know if this is going to ever cap off or continuously be a process of screening where it's going to be doing this shit. So that is the status as of today. One day, exponential growth in the amount of content ID claims we're having.